Okay, so welcome to part six of the six part tutorial series I've been putting on YouTube for how to make a character in Blender rig it, white paint it, texture it, animate it. And this is the final one where we're just gonna be finalizing some of the things we did here in the scene. Now, like I said, I am gonna be uploading a final, final part. It's gonna to go to Patreon, which is a bonus content for the simulation here of the skirt and the sprinkles. But that's not something that you have to have. You can just keep watching this series if you haven't already done it and make a final result anyway. But if you do wanna support the channel, feel free to check that out in the description below. And I will be uploading the blend files there and some of my original examples as well. So let's get into this final part part six of making this cool character animation from scratch in Blender. Okay, so we're now finally in the last part of this YouTube uh, character tutorial. And uh, like I said, there will be some bonus things I'm gonna upload to Patreon, including the blend files. But what we're gonna do now is we're just going to refine a few things. You can already see I've kind of put my camera at a little bit of a higher angle compared to part before this. Uh, how you set up a camera is completely fine. And one thing I'm also gonna quickly do, because I think it'll just add a little bit extra, is I'm gonna go to frame one and with that camera selected, I'm gonna press I and just add in the location keyframe. And I'm gonna to go to frame 20 and I'm gonna go I and insert a location. Okay, so all we could do now is we can go to about frame nine or so, not quite in the middle, and we can go G and just slightly move the camera and go I, insert a location, move up a little bit and then move it a bit and go I, insert a location. And what we're doing here is just creating a little bit of camera shake. See that? And it really adds something to the overall design, in my opinion. Um, you could also go and select go to your sun or your, your environment here, your world properties. And um, we added in that sky texture. But what you can do is you can go to the sun intensity and set it to 0.5 and then bring up the strength of it. You can also go to the sun elevation, make it 45. And um, the more you do that, the more midday it's gonna be. So it's gonna be a bit brighter. So if you need to, you can bring down either the strength or the intensity. I think I would bring both down in that case. Um, but mess around with these values here. Also the rotation of the sun, whatever you want. There's all sorts of things you can try out. Um, lighting can really make or break a scene sometimes. And there is not necessarily a wrong or right way, but they're all the different kind of things you could try so to speak. Um, with the camera, we added a um, focal element earlier. So if you go to your um, camera, remember we selected an item for it to focus on under the depth of field. I'm just gonna get rid of that. And I'm gonna click on a little eyedropper and just select the mouth because that's the most forward facing part. So that's gonna be the focal point. And uh, the smaller you set that f-stop, the more stuff in the background is gonna be blurred. So I might just go with something like 0.3. I wouldn't really go anything less than 0.3. It just becomes a bit too extreme. But um, let's now also go over to our render settings and let's just also enable motion blur because we have something that's moving. Um, as far as your output goes, you can go to your um, your output here, go to your output folder, select your desktop or wherever, and then you're gonna go to your file format and make that an FFmpeg video. And your encoding, you can make that an MP4. So MPEG4. Make sure to save as you go. So what we have now is our camera setup. Um, we already touched our render earlier. The thing I told you guys to do mainly was to make sure under the sampling, you set the max samples down under the render. You can enable denoise, denoising if you want. And um, especially if you're gonna be going for lower samples, like I said, if you have a GPU, definitely use that instead of a CPU. If you don't, don't worry, it'll just take a little bit longer. Thankfully, there's only 20 frames here to render. And um, yeah, that's about it. We've now just added a little bit of wobble to our character. And uh, this is where I'm gonna leave it for now. We're gonna render this out, it should look fine. But like I said, with the, um, uh, the little dangly dress thing or whatever it hangs around, the simulation and the little sprinkles. I'm gonna make that a bonus um, tutorial that's gonna be up on my Patreon. Um, thank you guys for watching this, um, I think six part tutorial series now that I've been doing, showing you from scratch how to make a character, rig it, animate it. If this is stuff you enjoy, um, I, you know, spend a lot of time making it. If you wanna support the channel, great way to do that is to like, subscribe, and also support me on Patreon. And if you sign up for Skillshare using my link in the description below, that is really good for me if you eventually sign up, I get a certain percentage. So that sort of affiliate thing helps me out as well. So I really do appreciate all of the support I get from you guys. So all you have to do now is go render and render animation and it'll render this out for you. And just one more little tip. If you went to your output here, you can also change the resolution here. So 18, so 1920 by 1920 or 1880 by 1880 will give you square aspect ratio. And that'll be great for stuff like um, Instagram and things like that. But go ahead, render, render animation, and you should have this. Thank you for watching.